Rocco, at one point it looked like you guys were about to shut them out for the second straight game. Then to see how everything ultimately unfolded, how do you sum up the range of emotions in that span? Um, yeah, we, we were in a spot in that game um, exactly where we want to be. We had uh, the game um, right in front of us. Uh, we just had to go out there and get an out. And, um, you know, obviously we weren't able to pull that off. Um, going into that inning. I mean, that's exactly what you're hoping for. If you can go into every game with a two-run lead in, in the last inning, um, you've done a lot of things right, and you're in position to win. Um, but we have to shut the door, and we've got to finish the game, and we got to uh, we got to do our part, and we didn't quite do our part. The play specifically um, with Nick, do you like the aggressiveness? Should he have not dove for that ball? How do you, I guess? Well, if he catches the ball, we're all sitting here slapping five and thinking it was the greatest uh, thing. Um, but you have to be able to trust your players to be able to go out there and play uh, good aggressive baseball. And if he thought he could uh, he could get there, then he should go try to catch the ball. Um, you know, I haven't gone and relooked at it. I don't know exactly how uh, how much he missed the ball by. Um, you know, again, if if the ball if he thinks the ball's going in his glove, he should try to make the play. Uh, and also, you know, playing good fundamental baseball. If if he's not sure in that situation, um, you pick the ball up and you get it in, and they score a run. They score a run. That's that's part of it. But um, it's it's definitely uh, something where you, you have to believe in your players to be able to go out there and uh, and make the right calls when the game starts. We've seen spectacular catches from Buxton plenty of times before, but a catch like that, and then obviously doubling up Otani, not expected maybe in those situations. But what was it like to watch that whole sequence unfold? Yeah, it's a very um, unusual set of circumstances when you bring the outfielders into a, an extraordinarily shallow depth. Um, and I've seen that play before, uh, play tricks on the base runners. Um, you don't uh, see it often. And on top of that situation, the ball has to be a low, hard hit line drive just over the infield. And, you know, the guy's going to be standing in a spot where he's almost never standing. Um, and that's what that's what allows you to pull a, a playoff like that. It was a great play by Buck, uh, you know, good throw to get it in and to, to get the next out. Um, and, you know, you know, both the base runners were, you know, the guy at third was also, you know, well, well off and uh, – trying to get a good jump and maybe going on contact. So um, all that being said, it, it, it would have been a great uh, thing to be talking about right now if we had won, um, but it was a good play by our guys. At what point, if there is a point, do you start to get concerned about the frustrations and the emotions of Emilio Pagan and letting it get to him and maybe derailing him further than what we've seen, unfortunately? Yeah. Um, listen, he's gone through some, some very challenging times this year. Um, you know, there have been homers. Um, you know, we, we can't look away from that. We've talked about that before. Um, he has to stay mentally strong for when we call upon his uh, call his name and, and send him out there to pitch. Um, you know, pitching in extra innings in these situations, uh, I can't explain how challenging it is to go out there and put up zeros when the guy starts on second base. Uh, obviously, you know, him giving up a, you know, well-hit ball like that um, is kind of, another point that's a separate point um but again we're going to need the best Emilio Pagan going forward and we'll do whatever we have to do to get that the, the offense has been really good at times this year and obviously in a game like this the bullpen sort of gets a lot of criticism for their late performance but when how tough is it when the offense goes over 14 with runners in scoring position and, you know could have given some breathing room earlier in the game yeah we're, we're not doing ourselves um favors uh, with runners in scoring position, and uh, you know, there's no uh, denying that um, it's right there in front of us. Um, you know, it takes a certain kind of at bat sometimes to go out there and bring runners in. Uh, you don't have to, you know, take the game over with one swing in those situations. You need to just have a good at bat. Um, the few, the good at bats have been, you know, few and far between with guys on base and. Uh, it's something that we can focus on and something that we're going to have to do to, to create separation in these games. Um, it was a game that we felt, uh, you know, just the feel in the dugout. You know, you're, you're playing a pretty good ball game. You're making plays defensively. You're, you know, getting guys on base and in position. And um, this is what happens when, you you know, when we're not able to, to add on. And, and uh, you know, it's fine to say that's the truth.
good of opportunity as any uh, getting out there and kicking ass, especially after how you've kind of been hitting a little bit of a slump recently. Is it frustrating for you to kind of see that production from him go undercapitalized on, I guess? Um, yeah, you want to be able to uh, point to it and, and acknowledge it and, uh, you know, talk to him, which we'll do anyway, but it doesn't feel as good to be doing that um, when you go out there and you don't win the ball game. Um, so, yeah, but it was a very, very good day for him at the plate. He looked really comfortable, um, you know, good swings, but really good at bats overall. Um, exactly what uh, the kinds of at bats that, that you look for from him. I mean, we talk about him being, you know, a very good advanced professional hitter and, and someone that, uh, you know, takes a lot of pride in taking all, you know, quality at bats. Today we saw just a, a ton of them.